So you and your team, you are finally working like a well-oiled machine. Everything is going great, so great in fact, that you need to bring on some new people. But the problem is the only ones that are applying are these danged Gen Z people. And I mean, really, we've all heard about the work ethic of Gen Z, have we not? Slow down. Before you stop this video, before you think you know what I'm going to say, just give me a minute to explain because I think we've all been wrong. So let's first open the conversation with the stereotype of what Gen Z has presented as a whole. These are not my words. These are words of the people. And they say that Gen Z is typically, but not always, they're scatterbrained. They are thinking that they can do so much by multitasking. While doing that, they tend to have a short attention span. They're also, they're addicted to screen time. They're addicted to having a phone, a tablet, a computer in their face. They're also famous for ghosting employers. And to top it off, they expect way too much from the companies that they work for. Now, let's really digest this. First of all, honest conversation. Do you think you work better when you multitask? A lot of people do. How often are you in your phone? We can't just say that one generation is addicted and everybody else is perfect. Because I know that when I'm not making a video here for you, a lot of times I can be stuck in my phone and job hopping or ghosting employers. This one's interesting because it also kind of ties in with what they expect of a company. And if the company is not giving them what they expect or they're not treating them with respect, how should they exit. Is it hard to say that ghosting is fair? Between me and you, I worked at a restaurant and they gave me the worst shifts with the worst sections. They treated me like I was lesser of a human being because I was new. And one day I, I ghosted this company before it was cool. So listen, kids, we got more to talk about here. When you want people to respect your company, you have to show them the respect. You have to earn their respect. So while Gen Z has this bad reputation, I decided to look a little bit deeper and I found a study from Deloitte in 2022, so this is fresh, and they questioned over 14,000 people in this Gen Z section of our population. And here's the funny thing. Well, first, let me tell you what they expect or they hope for from the workplace. 32% of them want work-life balance, meaning they're not there to die for the company. They're there to earn a paycheck, to celebrate and enjoy with their family and their friends. And in exchange for that, they are willing to put in the work that they're paid for. They're willing to put in the effort that they're paid for. 29% want learning opportunities. They want the opportunity to develop themselves, to add more value to your team. 24% want more money. And can we be honest? Do you not want more money? Do you, no matter what age group you're in, but do you not think that you're worth a little bit more? Do you not want to get that last dollar? I do. Full disclosure, I want more. I believe I've earned more. 23% want a positive work culture. Up until now, none of this is surprising me. Does it surprise you? Does it sound like the Gen Z that is, you know, full of screen time, that are lazy, that want stuff from the company, does it sound any different than you and I? It doesn't to me. Now, while I'm working on this list, if you're finding value in this no nonsense sense, hit the subscribe, click the like, so that you get more of these videos, but also go in the description because I've got more value for you. Now, speaking of value, let's get into the next value, which is 23% of those surveyed 
They want career growth opportunities. They want to be a leader just like you are. They want to develop their career. They want to see that their job that they're doing now can lead to somewhere great. Now, if I may add to this, I believe that they want to see it will lead to something great in the next year, two years, three years. This is no longer when somebody wants to put in 15 years at a company to really start having an impact and moving up. They don't have that time to give you. And if you are making them wait 15 years to blossom into you know, a position that they want, they're ghosting you. They're not wasting their time. And here's the thing, again, we as leaders, we need to look in the mirror and say, what would we do? Are we upset that Gen Z has, they seem to come into work with a chip on their shoulder because they expect more? And are we upset because, <sighs> Maybe we should have expected more. Maybe we should have been pushing these buttons. Maybe we're just a little bit jealous of how they are prioritizing life in general. And that kind of comes into 21% of them want to have a sense of purpose, a meaning behind what they're doing. And then 20% of Gen Z, they just want flexible work hours, meaning remote, hybrid, working, in the office a couple days, working at home a couple days, maybe working on the weekend because they need a few days off. I think we have done a giant disservice. And I say we, because I know, listen, picking on Gen Z in my videos, picking on, it's low hanging fruit because that's the hot topic. But I'm positive that if we look through the generations, every generation looks at the next one saying they're lazy. They don't have the work ethic. They don't have the drive. They don't do it the way I did it. That's called progress. That's not necessarily called laziness. And let's just call a spade a spade. There are lazy people in the Gen Z. There's lazy people in millennials. I've even heard there's lazy people in the old Gen X area. So let's not blanket statement an entire generation. Let's look at what they're asking for and what they want and see how we can help them achieve that. To see that they're actually just asking for stuff that we on this channel are trying to build up to. Instead of questioning a whole generation, question what the number one reason that employees are quitting for. And you can do that in this video right here. Get your coffee. See you in that one. Ciao.